Right now let me show you how to make this easy build. First off you will need six, two stacks of 64 of a building block of your choice, 7 sand, 24 bits of glass, 7 pistons, 7 observers, 7 redstones, 2 water buckets, very important, 7 bits of kelp and 7 slabs, I don't know why I got 6 there but you need 7. For the XP bit of it, you will need one glass pane, six chests, seven hoppers, and two smokers. You can also use a furnace, but smokers will cook it faster. Right, I'm going to quickly show you how to make an infinite water source. So with your two buckets, build a little row of three here, and then put water in either side, and then you'll have your infinite water source as long as you take it from the middle. So either bring lots of buckets or just bring one bucket and pop it in and out but trust me you my tip is to bring a lot of buckets right so for the build you will need a 4x11 area and then about a 4x4 four four little hole here right so let me show you how to build it so with your blocks go to the left end there and build up one block high three in a row and then same on the other side on the right side but on the right side leave the end row so they go in one from the end and then simply just fill in either side there, but leave the middle. In the middle, put your sand all the way through. So you got eight bits of sand there, or seven, wherever your sand was. And then the end one, block off with your block and build that three high. Right, time to put in your glass. So you want to go from where your end block was and then go free high and take this all the way along and stop before the last block on the end here. Alright so your glass is up so make sure you've got one block spare either side and then build up the end caps here. They need to go free high like so and then again on the other side build up free high so you should have something that looks like this. So this one I built up three high as well. All right, and this back bit here, you need to go a one row higher with your building blocks, like so. And then it is time to put in your pistons. So your pistons need to be at least one above the sand. So we build that extra row there. Because if you put them on the bottom, it will destroy the source block of a kelp. So these need to be facing you and the glass. So Hop on top of the sand and then just go along and pop in your pistons like so. And then the same with the observers, except the observers, they need to face the glass and the red dot needs to face the back. So you have to come around the back and then pop your pistons, um, pop your, whatever they're called, the observers on the thingy. So the red dot faces the black like so. And then the face is at the front. Now comes the fun part popping in the water so you need to make every single block in here a source block so it needs to be very high and they all need to be source blocks but before we do that we need to put another layer on top of here <laughs> alright so you have something that looks like this and then you need to make every single one up to the observer a source block so you're going to have to do this by going along first and not up, not going up you have to go along otherwise it doesn't work and then simply just drop in your water. This is why I said bring lots of water buckets. With the pistons, for some reason, it's a bit different. Once you filled it all in, it will flow towards the window or towards the piston. Now, to you, it depends which way you pull it. So, to fix that, just come to the end and pop one down, and that turns it all into water source blocks. If it doesn't happen in the observers, you can go all the way along, like so, and it's fine. So that's all of that done. Now you want to get your seven slabs and pop these on the top half of the observers. So just above the eyes, pop them down like so. And then you want to put your water bucket down. Have to aim in the corner to put that down. Oh, that shouldn't flow into the end there. Block off this end. There you go. And then just destroy the half slabs. And this will create a little uh, 
Nice bit of flow view there. Alright, now pop in your kelp into the bottom of here. Hope you're good at swimming. There, so you should now have something that looks like this. Oh, I've had a bit of an accident here because I forgot to put on the blocks along the back. So if you didn't know, pistons leak water. So you have to block off the pistons here like so. Just put your building block along the back. There you go. And while we're here, we might as well put in the redstone. So just pretty much do a line of redstone. All the way along. There you go. So that is everything wired up for that bit. The kelp will grow up. Once they hit the observer, they will fly off. Um, do not delete this row yet. You will be deleting this row in a minute. But for now, we're going to be putting in our little farming area. So you want to build up too high here to stop leaks. And the same on this side. And then punch a hole in the middle there. You need to pop your hopper here, but you also need to put your chests down. So do a little row here for the chests. Let's get rid of all of this. We probably need that building block still. Get rid of all that. And bring down your required materials. So build two chests side by side there, and then go around the back. And shift and place the hopper against the uh, chest there. So let me show you. So the little L shape at the bottom is against the chest if it's going downwards it won't work it needs to be into the chest and then build your build up your slabs again there or the blocks whatever you've used pop down a glass pane here it's very essential and now the main bit's done so you can go back into the machine and you can delete this row here this will turn into water but it's not Why is that like that? But it will not be a source block, so the water will be able to flow all the way down. Um, if, like me, you had a little gap there, just pop in a thing, because you need the hole to be at the bottom, not here. So make sure you drop the hole there, not there. Don't know what happened to mine. So, the kelp will now be flying through and going into this chest. Is there any ready to grow? No. So you can get rid of these slabs for now. And then you'll kind of want to build from the bottom because it's just a bit quicker. So pop your two chests down and then go around the back and attach your hoppers. Like so. And then get your smokers and crouch shift them on to the top of the hoppers there. And then jump on top of the chest and crouch and shift on your hoppers and that will be all of that and now we need to add in the fuel sources because at the moment you've just got the kelp coming in with no fuel sources so you want to crouch again and then place them to the sides of the thingy and then put another chest either side and fill those with your fuel which I didn't bring, hold on alright so I'm back with loads of fuel and just pop them even amount in each one five in that one, four in the other, don't know why it's not along the bottom but that would do so but one here needs to be on the bottom and that one needs to be there so the side always has to be the fuel and the top always has to be the ingredients you can kind of tell just from looking at the smoke a little so you've got the fire bit at the bottom and then the fuel bit at the top so the fuel is going into there and when we finally get some kelp right I've turned the, uh, the tick stick up so this will now work quicker as you see so the kelp grows up, who's going to get there first, all oh, that one over there, and then it gets hit by the observer and goes all the way along here, falls straight into that hole, flows along into there, into there, into there, into there, and gets cooked and comes out here, so you have your unlimited um, fuel source. While you're here, you might as well put down a um, crafting block, because then you can just go straight, you can pick them up straight from there and go straight into here and craft your craft your old uh, kelp block there and then use that as unlimited or as a tree there so that is how you get unlimited xp and unlimited fuel sources in minecraft you build a nice little easy kelp farm like this how simple is that i mean if i can do it you can do it that's my motto oh sometimes they may get a bit stuck here but eventually they will just slide through but yeah 
like all my Minecraft videos, I try to make them as simple as possible and I always say if I can do it, you can do it. So uh, please leave a like, subscribe and share and I will be back in the future with more videos. Goodbye.